the moment, it's a scary concept. People are deciding not to care about it because they don't want to care about it and they don't want to accept that these problems are real, but they are and they're happening. So something needs to change. It's not easy being green. Hello, my name is Alex and this is my good friend Jacob. Now, Jacob, would you like to tell me about the problem you are most concerned with? I'm concerned about plastic pollution in the ocean because at this point there is just too much about it. You know, people say that we should do something now, but to be honest, our opportunity came ages ago. This is the point where we've made a mistake. We should have you know, started acting on those things many, many years ago. And at this rate, there will be more plastic in the ocean than there will be fish by 2050. Really? Yeah, really. So, very big issue there. I mean, it's it's not just that it, it looks bad, you know, the plastic is breaking down um, yeah. into smaller microplastics, then the fish eat them and then we eat the fish and, you know, it, it all comes full circle, you know, even if you don't care yeah. about the fish's lives, we're being hurt by this overall. And if we don't care about the fish, because we eat it and the microplastics are going in, then we're not taking care of ourselves. What's your favourite animal from the Amazon rainforest? I like the orangutans. Ah. <laughs> anyway, so what is your thing that you care most about? Hello? I care most about uh, probably pollution, plastic pollution in the ocean because uh, every time you throw a bottle away, it basically kills a fish and uh, fish population are declining rapidly. And did you know that right now a giant island filled with plastic is floating around in the ocean and it's triple the size of France? You have manufactured these plastics. You've been on this earth longer than us to track more in the ocean than we have. We can't just look after where we live. We've got to look at the whole, you know, the bigger picture here. By 2050, parts of Norfolk and Suffolk will be submerged underwater due to the melting of the ice caps from climate change. We want change and we want it now, now, now. It's like observing one part of a painting and not observing the rest of it. You don't get the entire context. Exactly. I am interested in stopping deforestation. Over the last 12,000 years, at least 46% of the world's trees have been cut down. More trees are being cut down than we can grow. Did you know the average family uses the equivalent of six trees of paper every year? The highest rate of deforestation is in the Amazon rainforest, where lots of animal habitats have been destroyed by the dead. We've known for years about these problems and what we have to do and how we can do it. Everyone needs to contribute if we're going to fix this, really. We have people like Greta Thunberg and other amazing environmentalists, but most of them are kids and not adults. I would like to see more people taking action. Make the biodegradable plastics. Every time a tree is chopped down, it's always part of Eat less meat. I want to see governments taking action. There are all of these complicated solutions one of the simplest things that you can do to help right now is just to be more careful with your rubbish we throw 30 billion drink cans every year we've known about these environmental issues for years you know i do hope that we can get a change here and now yeah there are people taking action but the question is is it enough is it enough is it enough? Right now, at this current moment, there are at least 1.5 billion cows farting methane gas in four hours. Environmental facts! Thank you, everyone, and remember... Everything is gonna be alright!